Hey guys, Larry Alford here. We're going to look at a comparison between the real estate rules of agency disclosure and the investment industry that gets to completely skip the agency disclosure and mislead and harm investors. California Association of Realtors has a disclosure requirement as does most of the states in Canada real estate agency relationship. You have to let people know if you're a buyer's agent or a seller's agent and a duty of honest and fair dealing, uh, a fiduciary duty of utmost care. If you're a buyer's agent you have similar obligations. When you're an agent representing buyer or seller you're, um, you've got to let people know what the relationship is and what the duty of care is. If we compare that to what the investment industry gets away with we can find uh, billions of dollars worth of abuses and deceptions here. Here is the ex-CEO of TD Bank speaking to American Banker talking about the culture of greed and he lets something slip here that's important. And so if you really do start a business model that says my clients aren't my clients, they're really counterparties that I can make money off, I wonder if the bankers have ever told their clients that they're not the clients of the bank, that they're counterparties that the bank is willing to make money off of. You shouldn't be surprised that you're going to end up a culture that's a pretty green culture that really doesn't do the right thing all the time because you start. So you've got this culture that gets to hide that from the investment industry and make money off what they call their clients and their clients are under a completely different perception so there's a deception going on here Labor Secretary Thomas Perez recently testified to Congress about fiduciary rules and financial services this was as recent as August 2015 and the headline says witnesses say brokers try to pass themselves off as fiduciaries and this is where the agency disclosure doesn't happen in the investment industry. These guys get to pretend that they're actually these guys and they get to play out a role of being these guys and the customers have no idea that they're not what they say they are. So if you want to learn more about this, Brokers Pretending, A Story of False Pretenses, it's the next video in this series, Investment Advisor Deception 2015. And then if you're willing to suffer through one more, just one, look at the SEC regulation of investment advisors. Larry Alford, I am the an good news bodyguard. and the bad news, looking at the Investment Advisors Act and how most are exempt from it. You will be amazed. Thanks for following along.